guys. Team Car Life Captain Albert Zucchucci here. All right, today I'm changing it up a little bit, and the reason for it is because on the last fishing trip, as we were pulling up the drum with the big nets, after handling so many, you got all their fish slime all over your hands. Well, <clears throat> that becomes a nuisance when you're trying to handle your big nets. You know, the, the pole's got a lot of grip, but you start to slip and everything else, and then so the only grip you have is up here. But what you don't realize is too that this can also slip off. So I got to thinking, I was like, you know what? We've got some heat sheet rubberized gripping that a lot of people are using on top of their phone to add added grip. So I was thinking, why not add it to our grip here? The only thing that we have a feeling might come into play is that once we add the rubberized grip in here, that it may not slide back down once you release it. So we're gonna test it out and find out, but I've already talked to our customer and he really doesn't care that it slides down because it's easier for him to hold when it's expanded in this form rather than when it's down low because then he's trying to hold his rods and the net at the same time while walking down the pier. But it makes it easier for him to handle that way. So he's totally okay with it, but we're gonna find out if it works. So let's check it out. <clears throat> what we're gonna do first is we're actually going to retrieve it out of here and uh, need a little extra help to get it out. Done. Oh. And yeah, you got to be careful to Let's see. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, that might be a good thing to push it in real quick so I can slide my rubberized tubing over it. Actually, let me have that. Another little one. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna look nice. So now we just gotta heat it up and get it on. So what we're gonna end up doing is stop it, start from the top end so that way we can keep it nice and flush on there.
know about y'all, but this is looking mighty sharp. <clears throat> Alright, so now that we've got it on, man, this feels awesome. Like, now you've got grip through the whole aluminum bowl. So let's get it back on there and see if it will countersink. Like I said, yeah, I didn't think it would. And you don't want to chance pushing it on because you're going to move your gasket up or your rubberized here. So, so now it's in place and now you can make sure you've got grip all through your pole there. And so, yeah, that looks pretty sick. And we've also heard that there's more colors other than black available. We'll, we'll take a look and see what we can find. And we'll start posting them up as we start doing different colors and so forth. So again, I know we just passed up 1,800 subs. Woohoo! We're getting there. So now less than 200 subs needed for our 2,000 mark. And guess what? Where is it at? We already have the rod in house. So it can either be this one and or this one for the rod giveaway. Yeah. But depending on which one you want, you can choose the blue, which is the Vexen, or the black one, which is the Tackle Industries, to go with the reel, if you're gonna go with the rod and reel combo. Now, if you're going with the 80, we're gonna have to wait for you to decide what color you want, so we can get that on order and get it set up from there. But, it's getting close. I can actually feel them in my hand. Soon y'all will too, so. But keep it going, got a few more to go. So again, 2000. As soon as we hit the 2000, that's the cutoff. So if you ain't subscribed by then, can't help you out, partner. But definitely after that, we'll be looking to our next goal and see what we can go from there. Maybe we can set something up that will be mighty interesting. I don't know. Maybe we'll get some feedback from y'all to see what y'all want to do for us. So let's check it out. 2000, we're almost there.